Okay, here we go. Welcome back to some more Gotham Nights. Hope you all are well and having a good week or weekend. So before we start with this last video of the main story of Gotham Nights, I would like to talk about something else. So I've been doing this for a little over two months now, and I've gotten more than 800 views. Now I know for the big YouTubers that isn't even a drop in the bucket, but for me just starting out that is amazing. And thank you all for the views, I appreciate all of them. So I know my videos aren't perfect, there's still some work that needs to be done, but like I said, I'm trying to learn and do better. I'm doing the best I can at the moment. The idea of the channel is to grow the channel and upgrade my equipment and learn that I can improve and can make better videos and even get to a point where I can give away gifts to you all that watching and subscribers and stuff. But for that to need to happen, I need to get monetized on YouTube. That is the idea, is to make a living with these videos. And there's where the rub comes in. Of the 800 views, none subscribed. None of you subscribed. And I need that. But even more than that, almost no one liked the videos or even disliked it um, and or gone in comments I've gotten two comments from all my videos um, and more than the subscription I need the comments and the likes and the dislikes like I says I've got no idea if you like my videos or not um, or even dislike it there's like there's no reaction, so I've got no idea if I should keep doing this, if you like what I'm doing or not. Um, so, like I said with the comments, you can let me know if my voice is too soft, is it too loud? Um, would you rather have videos without any commentary and just the gameplay? Uh, would you like videos with just the cinematics? Like I said, it's just, you need to let me know if you like the videos or not, and what you would rather see in it, or how you would respond better to it. But okay, that is my rant, if you want to call it that. So I hope you all are well, and let's get into the next video, and the end of the main story. So remember to subscribe hit that like button and leave me a comment and enable notifications that you see when I post. Okay, so let's get into it. It was here all this time. I've seen better work. Did you know, child? A Lazarus pit can be used for more than just saving people from the brink of death. It has many purposes. In fact, a Lazarus pit can make a mind more malleable, more pliable to suggestion. Your army's pretty loyal. Why would you need to brainwash them? Sometimes it's about more than your army. Sometimes it's about having the right general leading it. Is that an offer? No thanks. <laughs> you, like your precious Batman, were never able to save Gotham. I've finally solved that problem. Bruce? 
My father's mind was broken by repeated exposures to the Lazarus Pit. Unlike my father, I used that exposure to free Bruce's mind from his ridiculous oath. And you, you're right where we need you. Bruce's last test. Then we lead our new league into glory, remaking the world. Defeat this pretender. Take back the city that is your birthright. How many of you saw this coming? Yeah. Uh, I would keep the Okay, then when that happens, you have to go talk to him. Bruce, come back to us. You died! She said you died, Barbara! No, she lied! I'm here! No! This isn't real! Uh, I would keep the uh, momentum abilities for later. And the fight's not that difficult, it's not that difficult, even on medium difficulty. Must avoid his attacks. mask is on. You're supposed to call me bad girl, remember? She said you were, were all dead. You think we'd make it that easy? <coughs> so stubborn. Jim was the same. I learned half of it from you. <laughs> Batgirl, report. You were dead. Now you're suffering the after effects of a Lazarus pit. Talia dropped you in multiple times. She's trying to mess with your mind. Dad. 
How long? Long enough for us to follow your last case. We found the Court of Owls. They do exist. Yeah. And your Uncle Jacob was the leader. Jacob? Wise. You know what? We can finish this conversation no. later. By all means, let's finish it now. <laughs> I told you, and your father, to stay away from my family! Family? Is that what you call this? No thought for what we are to one another. Beloved, stay here. I've got this. I can... You want to find out how stubborn I am? Stay down. Never succeed. This is your last fight. I'm here once again, just try and avoid our attack. And you can probably try and perfect dodge if you're better than me. Barbara. And avoid those arrows, it actually steals your momentum abilities. Uh, just for interest sakes, the Lazarus Fist does damage you, but it gives uh, momentum as well. Damages you more than Accept your what you get back. You will never interrupt my plans again. Something funny, Talia? You, Barbara Gordon. Your father would be so disappointed to see you miss such an obvious tale. Oh no. The fault is with you, Talia Al Ghul. Your abomination led us here. And now you and it will die. <laughs> you will never bring death to an Elgul. No. 
to end this. <laughs> okay, I would save the abilities for this fight and try and not get hit by that arrow of hers. My beloved did train you well. <laughs> Another voice? You guys just don't give up. Take heart. Your death has purpose. You die, so the court lives forever. I will never let the court get a Lazarus pit. Go! Deal with the firm. you grew without me. Become your own heroes. The knights that Gotham really needed. <coughs> Together you're stronger than the Batman ever could be. I'm so proud of all of you. I'm sorry. What are you doing? You might want to run. want more. Politicians who pander to your reckless demands. Police who hurt the people they're supposed to protect. You're not gonna 
get this Lazarus pit. Because I won't let you. The Lazarus pit was completely destroyed in the explosion. And with the pit gone, the Court of Owls has mostly disappeared. Without the promise of eternal life, they need to regroup. As for Talia, she's left Gotham entirely. I assume she's planning her next move. She left behind a token force of League assassins. I can't tell whether she's keeping an eye on us or keeping us busy. Probably both. We found what was left of the Batwing. He's really gone. Gotham City needs me. The court will try to pretend this never happened. They need to know that I'm still watching. Exposing Jacob Kane was only the beginning. The Court of Owls is leading a war against the citizens of Gotham City, and it hasn't ended. But their days of lurking in every shadow are over. Because I will find them. And I will drag them into the light. People of Gotham. You deserve to live your lives free of fear. And I promise you, I will fight to make that happen. Okay, that's it. Oh, it's pretty cool as this here in the end credits that actually have you in the suits that you're wearing when you play the game and the character that was playing those specific scenes. So I hope you liked it. I enjoyed the game pretty much. So my review, this is just my thoughts on the game. I'd enjoyed it. Uh, the combat is fun and smooth. Uh, there's probably people that are a lot better at it than I am. Uh, I like most of the story and I especially like the personal stories and the interaction between the characters and how they grow and you get to know them. I also like the suits and the color changes and that you can customize it somewhat. It is sad that you can't change the color of the transmog or some of the look, like the mask or stuff, that you are stuck with that transmog. Uh, I love the bat cycle. It looks awesome and it feels... I like how it handles uh, in the game. But I do feel it gets uh, kind of left on the side after you get fast travel and your heroic travel. There's no real reason to do it unless you get the premeditated crime that's chasing it.
And then with the bat cycle, the ranged attack, I don't know what's the use of that. You can't aim or anything. So even in that premeditated crime where you're chasing the van, you can try and hit it, but you, it has to be right in front of you. You can't aim at the wheels or anything, so nothing really happens. Okay, and then the story, like I said, I like most of it, um, except the ending. It's, for me, it's it's really, it's kind of like stupid that they brought Batman to, to kill Batman, only to bring him back, and then to kill him again, right away. Like, I hate when they do that in even movies and stuff. Like, bring someone back, only to have them kill the gang. And for some reason, the other thing is, is like, especially in the superhero movies, the bad guys somehow always manage to come back, and the good guys don't. <laughs> um, and also, it was kind of silly for me in the last fight where they just like forget about Talia al Ghul, and then while they're fighting uh, Talia al Ghul and you as Batgirl, they just forget about the Court of Owls that's there. Uh, for the most part, like I said, I really enjoy the game. Uh, there's just one or two things that, like, aren't that great that they could think out and stuff. Okay, so uh, with the last fight, I would also suggest, like, with Batgirl, like I said, a few of them have those abilities where their heavy attacks can't be interrupted or something. Uh, I think that helps a lot with the fight, that you can even attack while getting hit and you actually don't get hit. So it gives you a few extra hits that you can get. Yeah, sorry, there's no music here because my music's turned off for the YouTube video. There's probably music playing in the background. And another thing that, as it's pretty cool that they made like Clayface is a new uh, year. I don't oh villain. I don't think he was ever in Arkham Knights or the Arkham series. But a lot of these like Mr. Freeze is almost in every Arkham. The Penguin is almost in every Arkham. And even Talia al Ghul and Razal Ghul and the Shadow of the League of Shadows has been prominent in two or three of the Arkham games as well, so I I kind of wish they did more with that. Okay, um, then after this there's nothing that happens over here. You can increase the speed, but it still takes about like five to ten minutes if you do it with increased speed even. <laughs> But yeah, I would, I would have liked that the uh, side villains actually had more of a thing in it and that there was more of them. Okay. Okay, so I'll show you in the uh, when I go back to the Balfrey now. But you unlock, when you do the main story, you unlock the black way thing for the motor, uh, the bat cycle. Okay, let's see if I can show you in the light. Okay, so this is now, if you see here, uh, as unfortunately it's not a suit. Okay, you get a Shinobi suit. Okay, uh, style. See, the knighthood is now unlocked unlocked for everyone. And I personally think, especially on Batgirl, it looks awesome. It looks really like Bat-like, like Batgirl and stuff. So this is what it looks like. I'm trying to show you here in a light. And I think it looks really cool. OK, so then now you can go and um, the after game where you can explore this, unlock all the colorways and stuff. 
that you still want, trying to get the perfect suit that you want. Now, like I said, I haven't played the uh, new game plus, so I don't know if you can actually get the knighthood as a suit or just a transmog. So far, it's just a transmog that I know of. Okay, um, I just quickly want to show you something, um, okay, with crafting now you have, uh, now first of this iconic Charlie colorway, um, if you see here with crafting, the, uh, that's the iconic Delta, the blue is always the iconic Bravo, and the green is iconic alpha now um the legendary suit the legendary gear suit is the iconic charlie they are always going to be that so if you want to need to unlock them that's how you unlock them you have to craft the suit with that uh, if you see here with the and now it's applied so i'll have to show that later um and also with the crafting, uh, this uh, unlocking these colorways is you have to craft legendary bioelectric or cryogenic suit, a concussive incendiary, and a toxic suit. Now, if you want to go for that, I would suggest if you go to database and um, I think it's crimes. Okay. If you see, here's all your contacts as well under crimes for some reason. Now, complete crafting challenges for Lucis to and salvage and unique Fox Tekka mod chips. Um, she gives blueprints on damage, legendary items, and more. Uh, she's defense. Uh, he just gives salvage. And okay, I see she, here's the thing is, so um, if Charlotte's there, there's a uh, she gives cryogenic gear so um if you want to farm those or try and get them the best would be to try and do it on a night when these you can try and get it that they are there and you can go hand it in and see if you can get a suit a uh, legendary suit that is the one that you want the toxic gear or the bioelectric or something um and with the crafting as well um, just for intersex, if you reach the end of the story, um, if you were on level, if you see there it's on level 4 at the moment, if you were on level 1 and you hand it in, you jump to level 4. So it's based on how far you are in the story, not how many times you've completed these. Okay, uh, email. This is just the, the rogue assault thing. Uh, there's the Harley Quinn. Okay, to all Harley Quinn. Hey, our small Batsies and Smallly Batsy. <laughs> A little birdie told me that you managed to chase out those pesky owls. Ha, get it. No need to thank me. Having less competition around here is thanks enough. See you around. Maybe sooner than you think, Harls. Please don't forget to cite my research of proper P uh, APA formatting. I may not be practicing but I still got standards I love Harley like I say it's just, and I know she went about it the wrong way but I personally think that's just how she dealt with Batman's death and that she was actually trying to test and see how good the knights are to see if they're up to task to fill Batman's shoes okay and then if you finish it the last thing is this you get the secret ending uh, you don't have to really do anything just finish the game so as you see this portrait is here. Another seismic event at Wayne Manor has Gotham City on edge. The already collapsed estate of the late Bruce Wayne has been closed to the public since it was destroyed earlier this year, leading many to speculate on what will become of the site the millionaire once called home. Even after all this time, a makeshift memorial in Wayne's honor continues to grow near the estate, prompting city council to consider making it permanent. 
appears that filling the hole, both literal and proverbial, left by Wayne's passing will prove even more difficult than previously thought. But that will not stop a city that loved him from trying. I'm Lynn Rashid, and this is GCN. Okay, so you just come up to it. If you're watching this, I'm Batman. Really, Dick? <laughs> Alfred had dinner ready an hour ago. How many versions of this are you gonna make? Let me check. In the event of my death at the hands of Crazy Quilt? Seriously? What about the event of my death? Of starvation? Hear that? You're neglecting this poor kid. You promised we'd have dinner together as a family. You guys start, I'll be right up. Oops. My hand slipped. But now you're up, so let's go. This is important. Would you just go? Or is I forgot to eat and starve to death on your list of videos? I mean, you want some advice on being dead. I got you covered. Oh, this is gonna be good. You're gonna need my password. Am not. Lastly, we go to database and collectibles. There's a voicemail from each. Um. Hello, Bruce. I just wanted to let you know my flight has landed safely at Heathrow and I'm on my way to the hotel. Master Todd said he would be stopping by tonight after work. I will call you tomorrow. Hey, Bruce. Tim told me you got the new water cooling system for the computer. Now, I know you want to do it yourself, but you have to let me help. I've got a similar system, and I'm sure you're going to love it. I'll stop by as soon as I'm finished work. Hey, Bruce. It's Dick. It's, uh, been a while. Listen, I'm in Gotham, and I thought maybe I'd stop by. You know, so we can talk. We should definitely talk. Let me know a good time. Batman, Red Hood here. That tip you gave me about the Bowery was spot on. I broke up a deal between the mob and the regulators. We can talk details later tonight. Other than that, things have been pretty quiet the last few months. Seems like whatever we're doing is working. Robin here, just finishing up my patrol. All quiet so far. I'm going to do one more pass and then head back. I'll call you if there's anything I can't handle. Robin out. Okay, so for me it sounds like that these messages were sent like that the, the day that or the night that he had the fight with Raz, Raz al Ghul and just before he died. Um, I have to admit, the, the video at the end, the special one you get, where he's trying to record his death note and it doesn't quite fit for me um it kind of takes away from it it is funny and stuff but like when were they close enough because the whole story they're talking about how like for example dick grayson and batman were fighting and 
not getting along, but then there they are like together as a family and stuff. And Jason has already been killed and resurrected because he's got the scar on his face. So I don't know, there's some of it that doesn't make sense to me and doesn't quite fit. So, yep. Okay. So here's what all their suits look like. Like I say, Robin's looks a lot like Green Arrow from the Arrowverse from the series. And I think Red Root is my other favorite one. most people but it's not fair what Talia did how are you not angry about that oh I'm furious at Talia for everything and someday I'll make sure she's held accountable for what she's done but Bruce wouldn't want me to be angry right now he'd want me to carry on like he'd want all of us to Oh, sorry. That's what his looks like. Um. go through these emails but I've gone through them a lot on another time they all got that email from Harley Quinn see like I said this looks a lot for me like Arrow from Arrowverse but it looks good on him I like how it looks But like I say, I like red and black together, so that's why he looks for me awesome with it. Okay, well that's it for the main story. As I might post one or two more videos showing more of the, uh, the suits and how to unlock them and stuff. Uh, I hope you have a great week, and see you in the next video.